Hey guys, today I'm going to discuss my concept of why we are not going to get masterpieces for some time after Hour of Devastation, and it's because we ran out of cards. So the first set for the masterpieces, the Expeditions, were really, really awesome. We had all 10 of the Fetch Lands, all 10 of the Shock Lands, all the Filter Lands, which are expensive themselves, and there's not an expedition that was too terrible. Yes, you had the battle lands, which were meh, but everything else was very good. Then we moved on to another land set, which is the, the lands like Ancient Tomb. That's a good one. Wasteland. Eye of Ugin before being banned. So those were very good as well. But we ran out of lands. There was no more lands. And we began printing artifacts, which is a good step because artifacts are generally very expensive. We had all these swords, which were really cool. So ring, mana vault again. So many great artifacts in the history of magic, and we had a very good mix of them. So get into, let's come to the new set of Almaket. We have Force of Will. And yeah, Chain Lightning, some few other cards. It's like meh. But when we take a look at what these, what's left, Choke, Avatar of Woe, No Mercy. These are very strange choices. Capsize, Di Diabolic Edict. I have to conclude there's no, no more cards left. There's like no more cards left. And you might say, oh, what about Lily? What about Snap? What about Tamagoyf? You mean the entire set that was just reprinted and that would probably be reprinted? I I'm sure some of the cards in Modern Masters 2017 will be in the 25th Anniversary Edition and or the Iconic Masters Edition, just because they are very iconic. What's more iconic and modern than Snap? Although Snap is not doing as well as it used to, it's still doing fine. So my conclusion is they literally ran out of cards to reprint. Which is kind of a troubling realization of where magic is. I've always been a huge proponent of printing better cards. Just straight up better cards. Cards. Uh, cars. Cars would be good too. And I don't see why we can't do that. I know a lot of you are may misconstrue my argument as, oh, it's going to destroy standard, and standard is important. Not necessarily. And there has been very good examples of the power level being pushed and standard being kind of fun. Standard, I don't think it, standard can get worse than having five cards banned from five different, well, I guess Marvel and the Emiko could be considered the same deck, although the Emiko was also played in Black Green Delirium. You just have, you have a combo deck, you have Marvel, which is like a pseudo mid-range combo deck, you had the cat deck, you had the, I still don't know why the mage is banned, but okay. Emiko, the main villain from the entire block, gone, and Smuggler's Copter from the artifact Mardu Vehicles deck. I don't see how it could get worse. And you might be like, oh, the card is too powerful. Just hate out the card. If the card relies on your graveyard, make graveyard hate. If the card relies on minus one, minus one counters, make minus one, minus one counter hate. One of the most mechanically flawed, me um, I guess, mechanics in recent magic history is energy. And energy, there's no way to interact with energy as an opponent. You're... You are just watching the person on your table build up their energy, spin the marvel, hopefully hit something, and you're hoping that they're not hitting something. But what if they had printed any card, an artifact card perhaps, which removed your opponent's energy? Then marvel would not be as bad as it would be because you, everyone would just sideboard that card and we would have a good matchup. What if they, uh, what if they reprinted Piffing Needle? Oh, yeah. They could do that because they've done that in the past. So the, my solution for the standard is not to print cards that are like 
really weak and then just hope all the weak cards kind of balance themselves out. Print better cards, print stronger cards, print more valuable cards. I'm very glad that Invocations or in Masterpieces in general, we will get a break because they ran out of stuff. I mean, let's take a look. We got Choke, Avatar, well, I just said this stuff. Shatterstorm, looks like Capsize, Lord of Extinction, Destroy Target Non-Black Creature at the beginning of your next upkeep. Oh, Slaughter Pack. I don't know if these are like, if you polled the Magic audience, these would be cards people would want invocations of. And when they are the chase, when they are the quote-unquote lottery card of the set, you, we are going to run out of lottery tickets. No, I guess, no, we're not going to run out of lottery tickets, but we're going to run out of the prize money. There's nothing left. I mean, the one saving grace of Amaket is they had a very expensive Force of Will. This set, maybe Blood Moon, maybe Dot Seas is over 150, but I don't see anything else breaking 100. Avatar Woe, I. It, are people really demanding this card? It, it's, it would be astonishing to me. Like maybe I'm just out of the loop here and people really want their avatar of woes. Boil? Are, are people really wanting to play Boil? Like who, who wants an invocation of a Boil? Boil is a fine card, don't get me wrong. But but man, well, who, who, who wants that? Diabog Edict? A lot of these choices are very questionable to me. I feel like they ran out of they ran out of cards. And the artwork, all every single one of these artworks could be interchanged. They're just pictures of destruction, largely. And Armageddon could be any one of these that we're looking at. They all kind of look like Armageddon. They call all kind of look like uh, well, I guess cap capsize is kind of unique. It's a boat capsizing. But my general belief is I'm glad to see them go away so we can go back to what makes Magic so great is having value in our standard cards. So when, so A, I don't want standard to be expensive and there are ways to do that which are not masterpieces. B, I would like some value to be retained and I would like a more even spread. So I'm not complaining about the card value. I'm complaining that you either hit your Gideon, Ally of Zendikar, or, your, or a Expedition, or you lose. You either hit Li your Liliana, the Last Hope, or you lose. There's like one or two cards, maybe at most four cards in every set that can pay back for the pack. Everything else is really bad. Pennies on a dollar. So I, I don't really see people wanting some of these cards. Like Blood Moon is nice. I do like Blood Moon, but like Thought Seize is nice. But do people really want Armageddon for EDH? That's like one of the cards people hate most. I, I still can't even read these cards. I'm trying to read the title, but I cannot read it. I'm trying to read the one, the blue one with, what is that? You may cast spells from your, oh, Omnipotence. So I'm... Very glad that we are going to go past the masterpieces and we are no longer in a lottery system. I congratulate Wizards of Coast for making that correct decision. In my opinion, it is. And that will help standard because that will allow us to print more valuable cards. That will allow us to print stronger cards and not have all the value tied up to these extra cards, which while nice, eventually people get sick of playing the lottery. Right? Like you, we... They put everyone in the lottery system, but I would much rather have value spread on the uncommons, the commons. That's how you would spread out the value. You would not make mythics so expensive. You would make the uncommons very good, like Fatal Puss. Fatal Puss is a, the exception, but I would love to see more Fatal Puss like cards at uncommon. Because it promotes the game. It allows people to open a pack and feel good. Let's say you go 5-0 and on your FNM. You get 10 packs of Battle for Zendikar. You don't hit Gideon. You don't hit Expedition. Feels bad. Just feels bad. 
I'm also a big proponent of them increasing prize support for the local game stores. They have to realize local game stores are the lifeline and with so many digital places to buy cards and so many content creators promoting websites, online websites and not local game stores, local game stores, if they die, magic is gone. I would just point blank say that because I don't trust their digital platform. Their digital platform is like Magic Duels. They just gave up. And they didn't even have the de decency to tell people they gave up until they were like, okay, no hour devastation. I know we are releasing cards to be spoiled, but too bad, dudes. We are no longer working on it. Very bad in the tech industry. Very, very bad when everyone's expecting a new update and then right before the new update is supposed to drop, you tell people that, hey, the app is no longer usable or the app is no longer going to have the new, in this case, it's a little different because people will stop using the app if the new cards are not there. Anyway, that is it for me. Bye guys.